Hi everyone, today we're back with a firewood business. It's a beautiful late fall morning here in Elm Creek. It is a bit chilly, but it should be warming up. Guys, it's been a few weeks since the last video out here in the wood yard, and there's been a lot of progress here. We have been making a lot of money selling firewood here, and the first thing you're gonna notice, guys, the wood yard is uh, somewhat small. We only probably have about three quarts of firewood left here, and we need to solve the problem because I cannot keep up with demand, and we need to invest and make some big purchases today uh, to solve that problem, but there's a few things I have to do. I have a firewood delivery here at 8 a.m. but before we do that I really want to get the baskets filled up. Now we do have several uh, contracts here with convenience stores to sell uh, bundles of firewood and I actually drop off about a dozen of them in these containers. We have three here and we have several out at the stores here so we need to get this one filled up first and then I already have one inside the barn there ready to go for the next delivery but why don't we get this and you guys can see this is all we have left. Not much firewood but hey we need uh, to work on that and that's uh, going to be the main focus of today is building up our inventory. Uh, so we could keep up with demand because the phone just keeps on ringing Like always guys there's a full mods this link down below and if you end up enjoying today's video help me out by hitting the like button These firewood bundles do take a little bit of time here, but we are selling quite a few, and uh, that is actually how we're getting uh, some customers ordering big quarts of firewood, was they really liked uh, our firewood. They said it burned really well in their fireplaces, and that is uh, awesome here, so that's definitely a great, but I really want to do bulk firewood because I think that is where we are going to make most of our money here, and this is the right time of year to be uh, owning a firewood business with a uh, winter uh, just around the corner and the weather getting colder here but why don't we get the old John Deere fired up we need to get the OBS uh, full of firewood uh, we have two quarts we have to deliver uh, to a homeowner The old deer skids here just keeps on working here. I actually did pick up a bigger bucket here. Uh, this is, I believe, called a snow bucket here, but it works out quite well for firewood since it is not too heavy here. But guys, I we also need to find a way to be more efficient at loading up the truck, although this would be good at conveyor belts. I think would be even better here, but the truck is just about full. I usually try to give a little bit more than two quarts. That way, they get a lot for their money. Oh yeah, that is one full truck load. Let's get the 7.3 fired up. Look at that guys, first crank, no problem. And it is only like 38 degrees here, that is pretty cool. But let's get on to deliver this firewood. Driving around town delivering firewood guys takes quite a bit of time. So I'm gonna look for a part-time truck driver for the OBS here. That way we don't always have to be doing it here. But I guess that is a good problem to have. You're just doing so many deliveries, you're driving around town all day. And we're coming up on the address here. They said to put it to the right of the uh, garage door. That way they could still get in the garage at night. I told them no problem. And we'll just get backed up. You really don't want to go too far on the grass. But let's get this unloaded. Alright, there we have it. We got that delivered there. Took a few tries there. 
it looks like sometimes you do get them stuck in the dump bed here but guys I've been really enjoying the firewood business it's been so cool to bring the cam along from just starting out with little to no equipment uh, to making some big purchases here but I actually have a truck on the way full of logs and we really need to stay at the house here so I'm actually gonna run inside go grab some lunch and I'm gonna wait for the truck to arrive here it was about $200 worth of wood I'm basically paying for the delivery fee because they have so much logs they just don't know what to do with it all right guys the truck has arrived here let's let him get this fully unloaded like I mentioned I'm only really paying for the delivery fee here and we got all the wood for free so let's watch him get this unloaded here with that crane Wow, look at that guys though, entire truck was unloaded in less than 10 minutes here, the uh, delivery driver is pretty quick at it. He did say he's a bit rusty since he spends most of his time in the wood yard, but let me go give him a tip. And uh, we need to run on over here to pick up the big purchase, which is going to really expand the business. We're going to be taking the OBS over to a local uh, store because we need the biggest truck we have to take it home. And what you guys uh, may be asking, I bought a firewood processor. This thing will cut the logs into the 18 inches. It will split it. It will do everything we need. And it even has a conveyor to put it right in the back of the dump truck here. And I thought this is what we need here. It was a lot of money here. I did put a down payment. But we should be able to uh, make the monthly payment, make a big profit on top of it. And sometimes you have to take that risk in business. And this will also make us a lot more efficient here. So that's what we're looking for to expand. And this is that next step here. But look at that, guys. They have it right out front for us. So this here is a wizard uh, firewood processor. Look at that. Wow. It's like 30 feet long here. So this will actually uh, lift the log up onto it over here. And then as you guys can see, it has a conveyor belt with a big saw. And then this loads it into back of the truck there. Look at that. Wow. That is so cool here. Let me get attached to it and then we'll run inside and just make sure we're all good to go for paperwork. Now with this firewood splitter, guys, this is not brand new. It looks like it's in really good condition. I've been looking for one. I got this one. This is about 10 years old here. It looks like someone started a business and they outgrew this something even bigger. But wow, we're going to take good care of this and hopefully this is going to make us a lot of money. All right, the paperwork's done, and we're just now leaving here, which is super exciting. But like I mentioned, guys, we needed the biggest truck we can have here. I don't think the F-250 single rear wheel would really even be able to tow this here. We needed the dually, and that is why this dumb truck, guys, is just so handy. This thing is a really, really neat thing. But instead of going down the driveway, I'm actually going to drive down here. That way, we could get this in position here. And now that I'm thinking about it... I think I want the loading on this side here. Yeah, this will make sense. I'm going to have to add some gravel uh, in and things like that. Uh, that way we don't have to be working in the grass. But there we go. And we'll get the truck backed up to the conveyor. All right, let's get this thing fired on up here now to speed it up a little bit here. I already got a log on it there. Here, let's see here. The, com uh, the truck might be a little further back than what it needs to be, but we could just adjust that there. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want the firewood to be 18 inches. We'll go right about there. Well, let's uh, get to using this. 
and uh, we'll get the uh, conveyor belt going here that way we don't have a backlog here but we'll use this look at this this will bring it right over it's gonna stop right about there at 18 inches the saw's gonna come down and then look at this guys this is an all-in-one machine this is gonna make us so much firewood I'm not sure how many cords of firewood it can do an hour but look at this thing wow I'm just so excited I, like a kid on Christmas Day with this new toy for the business and look at that guys right in the back of the dump truck that is so uh, so awesome I think I have to move that dump truck back just a little bit uh, and that's something I will do here but this thing guys we are gonna be able to probably go through a log every probably five minutes at the uh, slowest which is gonna be awesome And just like that, look at that, guys. The truck is already filling up here. That is super exciting. You guys can see the wood's going up the conveyor as well here. Sometimes the wood does end up slipping, but it goes up. And that is super exciting here. So, guys, I'm going to keep on going here. And I think I will catch you guys back uh, uh, probably the next time I pick up the camera here. So, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one. And subscribe for more.